Hello, I'm Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. And in this video, I'll show you how to configure contacts using Nagios XI. Creating contacts can help organize dashboards, reports, or pages. This can be valuable because each person gets a customized report that specifically highlights the things that they need to do. With that, let me show you. When we start Nagios XI, we want to go on the top to configure. Under configure, we'll find core config manager. Under the alerting tab, we'll find contacts. Here, we'll find the default Nagios admin contact, as well as any others that have been made. Below that, or above that, we'll find add new. Here, we could add a contact name, such as IT test. We can make a description any emails, pager number, any add-on addresses. And then we can find underneath that, we have manage contact groups. Here, we could select admin or XI contact group. We could select here and it'll be assigned on the right side. We'll close and we find another tab for manage contact templates which we could add it to a template here. Below that, we could find if the user is going to be active or non-active. Above that, we have alert settings. Here, we have host notifications and service notifications. We could schedule those on, off, skip, or null. Below that, we could select the time period. In our example, we're going to do work hours. Below that, we have notification options, which we can select multiple, one, or all. Below that, we'll have commands. This is what we want to check. We'll do check host alive, add it to the list. We'll do the same thing for hosts. Assign it and close. Next, it'll ask for retaining status and non-status information. But we could also have this user submit commands. Above that, we have miscellaneous settings where we have free variables. Here we could add a name, a value, and insert. We could also use this configuration as a template and we could give a name here. After that is done, we could hit save. We can see that the user has been added. The alias is now test. The user is active and we can edit, copy, view config, view the relationships or delete. And we can see that in the relationships setting, we can see different contact groups, templates, hosts, and services. After that has been completed, we want to hit Apply Configuration. And with that, it was added. That's it. You have just created a new contact in Nagios XI. You can now add more contacts with templates that you have created and customize as you need. You can find more resources at support.nagios.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. We have a lot more helpful videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you and see you soon.